screencast, I'm going to explain to you how you can have sprites move in different directions rather than just back and forth across the screen. So that's pretty simple actually. I'm going to take sprite 1 here and I'm going to actually tell it where to start. You'll notice there's a command here that says go to a particular location. So let's have it start right in the center. And again, it's X and Y. So the X and Y is this X and Y coordinate system. Imagine that there's a there's an invisible line, uh, which is the Y axis and an invisible X axis. So if I have it start at X equals 0 and Y equals 0, no matter where I put it, when I click the flag, it will always start there. Okay? Now, I'd like to also have it go in a different direction. So let's have it, I can use this turn command, um, or point in direction command, either of those will work. I'm going to use the point in direction. Now what I'd like to do is have it pick a random direction so that it can start in any direction. Because again, what we're going to be modeling is how molecules move in random directions. So under operators, I'm going to take this command pick random from 1, 2, 3, 60, and this is in degrees. And then it will do the same thing it's been doing. Now notice, every time it starts, it will start and go in a different direction. Bounces off the wall. Let's start again. This time it goes in a different direction. Let's start again. This time in a different direction. Start again, a different direction. Different direction. Each time I start it, it will be a different direction. And I can have this command on sprite 1 and sprite 2. Again, go to uh, the center, x equals 0, y equals 0. Now they're going to be starting at the same place. We'll have a point in a random direction from 1 to 360. And now when I start it, two of them will always start in the center, go in random directions, and they'll bounce off of each other. Now you know how to get two sprites moving in random directions.